Hey Collective, it's Chatting with Truth and I'm back with another video. What's good y'all? So, what I, the, the message that I was receiving was like, you know, allow things to flow into you, especially like in love, okay? If you've been manifesting um, love into your life or a particular person, you know, I'm hearing that once, I'm hearing, like, if you got confirmation on who someone is or, you know, I feel like a lot of people are coming into union with their divine counterparts, okay? But I'm getting that allow things to flow into you. Do not, like, force anything or, you know, it's like once you, you know, um, said your manifestations is like a release it. You know, allow things to come into you. Allow this person to come into you freely. Look, this, this that's how true it is. The delusion card came out in the pre-shuffle and it came out again. Okay, it says intention without surrender can be a fast pass to delusion. Okay, so like I just said, once you set your intentions on, you know, something that you want, a person, like whether it's a person, a job, anything, these new things that you are manifesting into your life, release them, okay? Allow them to flow into you. Do not hold on to something or hold on to the idea of, you know, people, places, and things. Allow things to come. That's how you allow things to come to you freely, okay? I don't give a fuck if you applying for a job, you want a person or a place, whatever it is, a car, it's like, allow your manifestation like don't hold on to them don't sit here and, and keep thinking and harboring over like i'm hearing like a smothering energy like allow this shit to flow into you I, I understand that you could be excited or happy that you are receiving confirmations on things coming into your life but still i'm hearing give it a, a room to breathe Okay, you got energetic clearing. It says, during crisis, the Holy One herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments, preparing you to receive her harmonious plan. Yes, I'm telling you, something is already, like, clear and clear your space energetically. And clear that shit. Like, stop thinking about it. Stop harboring over it. Like, breathe. I'm like, like, breathing down the throat. Like, allow shit to come into you. Like, whatever it is. Like, somebody could be... All right, you want a job or you want a person like you know these things are coming into you it's like give it room to come give like give your manifestations room to to manifest okay like i know it's like somebody is just like you know already so it's like you just over like no do i heard like do this shit with ease okay you got extraordinary there's a well impetuous uniqueness that deserves to be honored yeah i feel like you're gonna you know who you are already okay you're somebody who's extra like, let that shit just come to you, okay? Like, you don't have to chase anything. You're going to attract whatever is meant for you, for real, okay? Like, you ain't got to chase a motherfucking thing. What's meant for you going to be for you, and I'm a, a firm believer of that. Okay, you got deepening. Once, yeah. It's like, this is all about detachment, allowing things, like, to come to you. It says, once you're on earth for enough for enough lifetimes, your old soul begin to long for non grasping detachments and surrender. They bring a peace of God. It's like you're no. It's like when you have this deep knowing, you don't have to hold on to something or fear um, losing something because you know what's meant for you. Okay, it's like once you awaken to that and know that things come to you so much more freely. But I feel like if you in your head about something like i'm gonna like even all right in a relationship like say you know who your person is it's like so now it's okay to you know watch this person or you know whatever but it's like still know like at the end of the day ain't nothing set in stone okay still live your life freely and um, and know that if this is honestly meant for you, it's going to find its way. You ain't got to force nothing or keep questioning or oh, when this person or oh, is this. Oh, like, no, let that shit be what it's going to be. Okay. Yeah. Receiving in your past. What does it say? Every day becomes easier to receive in the, the highest divine plan to trust my inner guidance. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's like 
allow things to be easy for you to receive them. Oh, once you release certain things, that shit gonna come to you back tenfold. Okay, it's destined for you to have. It says, Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. I'm telling you, it's like, yeah, your intuition puts you on to things, but at the same time, allow things to flow freely. Allow things to just flow. Like, I'm just, I'm here, man. Just let go. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Everything's gonna work all right, you know. Just let go. Period. Let that shit go. Okay, don't create no... I'm telling you, you're this empress, okay? Sit on that throne and, 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 and attract allow things to come to you i'm telling you everything you ain't got to chase i'm t i keep saying you don't have to chase a motherfucking thing not a person not a job not a career not no money you don't have to chase nothing when i say the way spirit wants you to just fall into your lap allow that allow that fuck that yeah with this two of swords here you may not see shit but it's like a no okay you may be in your head about something, may need to make a decision about something. I feel like any decision that you're going to need to make is going to come. It, you ain't going to have to second guess it. Okay, but the more you spend time in your head or questioning or wondering about something or like, no. I feel like you could be, I, I, I'm hearing somebody is really a powerful man. If it's somebody see things in a dream state, so it's like. You may be seeing shit and it's like you're wondering when is these things going to come through for you? Like, what's going on? It's like, no, leave that shit behind. Leave that thought process behind. You ain't going to have nothing to worry about. I feel like whoever you are, though, you are more walking away from, yeah, hurt, pain, things like. Even like, you know, you could have had um, abandonment issues. It's like you're healing that. I can't make it up. Four swords at the bottom of the deck. You're healing that. And it's like you being that. Look, you got the four swords, five of swords. You be in your head a lot. I feel like somebody also wants something to be so perfect. Like, you've been hurt. Like, I'm telling you, you got the three, four, five of swords. Yeah, it's like somebody, you're creating this burden where there is, where they don't, where they, where it doesn't have to be one. Wow. You got... Yo, you got the two of swords. Wow, you got the two, three, four, five of swords. I've never seen that like that. Somebody is like... Somebody is... They, they be in their head a lot. That's why that delusion card is out here. It's like you spend too much fucking time in your head. Too much time in your head. Maybe trying to control a situation or something. Because right after the four of swords, it's like the five of swords. It's like you're constantly in your head. It's a constant battle. And it's like, you know, like you're, you, you're here to receive everything that's meant for you. The eight of swords. Eight, I said the eight of swords. Damn. Eight of wands. It's like the moment you leave this, th 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 this way of thinking alone, the, the way shit is going to come in for you. Look, I can't make it up. Now you got the eight of pentacles in the world. Once you close that, that cycle out, that way of thinking, and quick, fast, yeah, with this night of stories and this hangman, the quicker you do this, the quicker things is going to come in for you. It's like, you know, went from the five to the, you know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, you started with the two to the five or so, then it went back down to the night. I don't know. I'm just looking at it because I never seen them cards come out like that. But it's like, yeah, revert back, okay, and, and quick. Like, you got somebody that's coming in for you. I feel like somebody also could have been in their head about making the decision with you, and it's like they was in their head heavy and strong, okay? But somebody is seeing something differently, okay? Yeah, you got this eight of pentacles. This could even be around work. You know, don't be in your head. Don't stress. You could have lost your job. You could have been out of work for a long period of time, not knowing how to really get back on your feet. Like, you know, spending a lot of But I'm telling you, things is going to work out for you. A lot of things. I'm telling you, yo, nine of swords. Nine of swords. Somebody be having sleepless nights. I don't know whether if this is a work situation or a love situation. But it's like you creating problems where there isn't one. 
for real. You're creating a problem where there isn't one. You got the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Three of Cups with the sun at the bottom of the deck. If you've been worried about your finances and it's like maybe you got a love offer or and it's like or or something like that. Maybe you had a love offer or your finances is fucked up and you like damn like I ain't got like you can't afford a relationship type shit. I feel like you don't have nothing to worry about. Okay? If you feel like damn I like somebody like this person like me but you know I can't you know, I can't take care of myself financially or whatever. It's like you don't got you gonna still have reasons to celebrate. It's like some you're 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 in this in this state of illusion where you don't have to be in this becoming like you you may be becoming delusional to a problem that's not even really there. Like a magician. With the Ace of Swords. I'm telling, didn't I say somebody is a powerful manifester? It's like you're going to have many reasons to celebrate. And that's the fucking truth. Spirit is all around this. You're really going to be. You're going to have true happiness. True success. Like, I don't give a fuck what it is. Whether it's, look, Nine of Cups. I mean, I said Nine of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. And the Two of Wands. Look, do you got this King of Cups. I'm telling you, whether it is that you got the Nine of Pentacles, so it's like you Queen of Pentacles out here. Look, then you got the King of Pentacles with the strength and the Ace of Pentacles, bro. I'm telling you, stop, stop. I'm not like, stop with the delusions. Everything is going to work itself out. Like, I'm not, it's like, yo, allow this shit to flow into you. The money, the love, the like, allow it to come to you because it's coming. It's coming. It's like the moment you release this shit and you stop trying to control it and you let it be what it's going to be. Oh, it's going to be some shit. It's going to be exactly what you want it to be. The fuck? It's going to be exactly what you want it to be. That's crazy how the Queen of, Pen Queen of Cups... Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, King of Pentacles came out. You got the Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, you, you know what it is. You have that inner knowing, that inner guidance. It's like, release that. Let me get some surrender cards, matter of fact. And then we're going to end it. Let me see what y'all need to surrender because yeah, it's like you in a delusion. You creating... You creating um, a problem where there isn't one, for real. Because this shit is coming in for you. Yes, it is. It's coming in for you. You don't got nothing to worry about. Y'all hear them motorcycles? I don't know. Motorcycles just give me, like, good weather vibes. Like, I can't wait till it get nice again. <clears throat> but let's see. Damn, I have a few cards. Ooh. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. All right, let's see what my collective needs to surrender. Surrender the idea you can fix someone. It is time for a relationship to shift. It does not work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or, own, his or her own healing. Period. Like, allow this shit to flow in. Like, somebody could be trying to force something, and it's just not time. It's not, like, allow somebody to get to where they need to be before they come in. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, somebody is ready, but you got to let it be what it's going to be, okay? You got to surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an attention to identify and release remnants of low self-esteem. Like, you, somebody could... You know, you could be lacking some sort of self-esteem or feeling like you're not enough or you're not worthy of what this is that's coming in for you. Like, this is a self-sabotage energy. Like, it, 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 it's, I'm hearing, like, somebody is literally creating a problem where there isn't one, okay? Yeah, I'm telling you, surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. You deserve whatever it is that's coming for you. I don't give a fuck what you did in your past, how you used to be, how you used to treat people, how you used to work, how you used to live. Whatever that shit is, whatever it is coming for you, you deserve this shit. 
okay but yeah surrender fear let go of fearful stories you are telling yourself stay in the moment focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward i'm telling you for some of y'all y'all got somebody who's scared to come in because they worried about you know how they like they somebody feel like they not worthy of all that's coming in for them like bro allow this shit to come in for you okay you deserve everything that's coming your way somebody is in their head about some shit and it's like you deserve this shit like what it says there's a wow and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored allow yourself to be honored allow yourself to receive all the good that is coming your way for real do not sabotage all this shit that you don't work and prayed for like allow this shit to really come in for you look i can't make it up surrender your ego surrender to joy surrender comparison with other people surrender your addictions surrender to passion surrender negative thinking surrender frustration y'all telling you all this is basically the same thing this is why something is not coming in for you how it should because you you're not letting it go you're not allowing something to come in for you for some of y'all y'all about to have a job offer y'all gonna need to clean y'all system you know if you smoke weed this and that i'm hearing that this is an offer that spirit is allowing to come into you you may even have to to two years because i cut it yeah for some of y'all because it says whether you're addicted to substance food people sex or overworking take action to begin to heal the addiction to replace it with an healthier alternative somebody could be addicted to something trying to whether you throw yourself in work somebody could even be like throwing themselves and shit to hide what like you know what is coming for them substance food i just said something about being mindful of what you eat for real so i feel like something is coming in for you and it's like i feel like somebody may be somebody somebody suffers heavy anxiety and it's like this is what's causing you to be in this energy you may not necessarily even want to feel this way this is why this reading is coming out it's like you're anticipating so much and it's like yeah anxiety somebody could be having a lot of anxiety attacks and shit like that but it's like calm the fuck down like for real everything gonna work out calm down and, and i don't mean calm down like somebody may need to really slow down on smoking your nerves could be fucking bad and it's like that's the but it's like chill for real somebody gotta learn how to really ground themselves a little bit better because it's like something is you you watching your manifestations come in for you and it's like it could be bugging you out you know i'm getting like a self-sabotage situation somebody trying to have you in okay i said that in another read but take what resonates and leave what does not and until next time